there's my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan, my German Shepherd Lobo. We got a beagle up the hill there barking. We're on uh, our morning walk today. It's about an hour after uh, sunrise or so. Come along. Yes. up now that that's taken care of it's about uh, 30 degrees or so this morning beautiful day you can see uh, those life light uh, tufts of hair on Kurgan he's blowing his uh, undercoat now I just brushed uh, copious amounts of hair off him this morning but uh, as you can see it's a never-ending story for about two weeks Beautiful morning. This is our first hike of the day. I typically uh, do two or three down here with different groups of dogs. I only can carry uh, up to three dogs in my Jeep because uh, these are large dogs. So we do multiple trips. It's good exercise for me and the dogs. Large wilderness off leash park right now. Boy. over there walking their ducks. Going over to make friends. Hey, good boy. How you doing? Come on. Kurgan. 
Good boy. Kurgan, how you doing? shake on me. It's not a matter of if, it's when they shake on me. <laughs> River's a little high today. looking for those thumbnails. stick around when you uh, hear me doing various whistles and clicks like that I'm not calling the dogs to me I'm telling them to stay in my general area where I can see them if I want to call them to me I use their name just to give you a little insight into our uh, system of communication on these walks. Man, it's just beautiful.
Kurgan <laughs> feeling playful. <laughs> What's up, big man? Boy. <laughs> Here he is waiting for Lobo to go get it. <laughs> go get it, Bo. Knock it off, Kurgan. Go get it. Come here. Go get it, Bo. Lobo, go get it. Go on. Go on. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. All right, come on. <laughs> nice looking dog. Nice looking dog. What's that? Handsome dog. Thank you. Yours are too. Oh, thank you. That's big. <laughs> he looks like, he looks like a wolf. Yeah, a little bit. He's a blue bay shepherd. A blue bay shepherd? Oh, yeah. Take care. Come on, Kurgan. Come on. Kurgan's favorite game. The reason why Lobo would go uh, after the stick back there right away is because uh, Kurgan likes to go after Lobo when Lobo goes after the stick. And Lobo was waiting for me to grab Kurgan so he could get it. They're like a couple of bratty brothers to each other sometimes. <laughs> Kurgan flushing some ducks. Again, this is an off-leash dog park. The ducks have plenty of areas up and down the river to go. If, uh, they don't want to have dogs running in the water with them. My dogs don't hurt them. Sometimes I get snowflakes on the channel, though, that uh, are a little sensitive about that stuff. Again, it's uh, just dogs being dogs in nature. The ducks are 100% safe. You'd be shocked at some of the snowflake comments I get. Uh, I'm sometimes baffled by them, but uh, each their own. Again, this is a back flood area off the river. You can tell uh, the river's high right now because this is all underwater. Often in my videos, we're uh, walking through that area. <laughs> Dog's got a little hound in him. Come on. I love these pieces of bark. They make uh, great fetch sticks for the dogs. They float and uh, they're light. And Lobo loves them. And they don't hurt quite so bad if he walks by you and whacks you in the shin with them because, uh, again, they're kind of light. Yeah, there's a dog back there. Hey, come on. Good boys.
Man, it's just a beautiful day. It's about uh, 30 degrees or so when I left the house. I think it's going to get up into the 40s today. I'm not quite sure, though. I know we're supposed to get up in the 60s or 70s this weekend. I'm looking forward to that. Let me do a little barbecuing. Come on. Come on, no, come on. Let's go play with that dog over there. Come on, good boy. So the dog came over here instead. <laughs> good boy. Bobo, come on. Come on, Kurgan. We're going this way. Good boy. I know you want to play. Come on. Kurgan loves to play with everybody. No, come on. Good boy. We got our friend following us. Looks like a husky mix. Come on. Boy. Beautiful area. I love this spot. Here we get a lobo up here, greeting another dog. Hey, how you doing today? Beautiful day for a walk, huh? Stop it. No, come on. Come on. See that Doug got a little uh, aggressive and nipped at Lobo. And uh, you can see I was able to stop the dogs and call them right away. Even when another dog bites Lobo. They're pretty tolerant. They know if I don't get upset about it and I remain calm that they remain calm. And that's uh, really a lesson that you need to learn when dealing with your dogs. You know, your uh, attitude and how you act really influences how they act in certain situations. The calmer you can be in a stressful situation like that, again, the more apt they're uh, to follow your lead and not overreact. And that was a prime example. Here you can see his buddy get bit and wanted to step in and again as soon as I gave a quick command they stopped. And it's all part of uh, developing a bond of trust with your dogs so they 
they trust you and listen to you in those situations. You know, if you act like a high stress spaz when anything stressful goes on, your dog's not gonna listen to you and it's gonna do what it thinks is best. Down. Good boy. The beautiful Tammy couldn't be with us today. She's at work, unfortunately, but uh, we'll go on another hike today when she gets home. Dogs are at the uh, Mississippi Witch Hut. And of course, we've got some balancing stones here. The Mississippi Witch, she's there. Trying to pee on those uh, sticks there. <laughs> what kind of pee pose is that? Tooth ball. Boy, ah, get down. You're dirty. You guys are a mess. More balancing rocks there at our little cove. Again, uh, Kurgan is blowing copious amounts of uh, undercoat. It's amazing how much of this stuff just pulls off him. And again, that's uh, after I already brushed him this morning before this walk. Hey, this way. Good boys. If you're wondering how uh, I taught the dogs to go where I point, I do have a couple of videos on the channel uh, describing how I do that. It's a very easy process. Uh, if you type uh, in my channel search feature, 
uh, the word point or teaching the dog to go where you point, something should pop up. Again, it's a handy command to have and it's pretty easy to teach. It just takes a lot of repetition. somebody that's down there like him below us Up for a minute. So, buddy, crouch down and relieve it. Hi, handsome dogs. Come on, what? Good boys. Up there. Come on. Again, this is a, a great place for the dogs to socialize. We get to meet dogs of all different temperaments. Pardon me if you hear some uh, heavy breathing. We just climbed up out of the valley and uh, it gets kind of steep. Now these plastic bags you see here, these are covering uh, some invasive buckstorm thumps like this. Again, they cut the buckthorn out of here and uh, they're replacing it with the indigenous oak trees, I guess. I'm not sure where all the buckthorn came from, but uh, they're removing it. You guys having fun today? We always enjoy these walks. It's uh, usually the highlight of my day. Uh, the only thing that would have uh, made it better with, again would have been to have uh, the beautiful Tammy with me. Come on. I hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this hike like subscribe and share hit that notification bell down below you'll get email notifications when my new videos come out i'd like to uh take this time to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel i got a big influx after annika did that uh video uh from animal watch featuring uh my uh, early neurological stimulation clips again thanks annika i appreciate it and uh, welcome to all the new people. Also, uh, regarding the puppies my uh, friend has available, uh, again, uh, 
I appreciate all those who reached out and expressed an interest. I probably got uh, over 100 emails. I forwarded them all off to Amy. And, uh, you know, she'll contact those of you that uh, uh, she thinks fits the bill the best. Uh, there's only four puppies, so don't be offended if you aren't contacted. Again, uh, I got over 100 people reaching out to me. There will be uh, some other Lichen Shepherd litters later on this year that will have uh, some puppies available in them to the public from me and uh, various other people helping me with the project. Uh, when those happen, I will be posting clips like I did for this litter. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure you uh, watch and listen for those videos when they're announced. going to be fun in a couple of weeks to have a couple new puppies here to work and train with I always enjoy doing those puppy training videos and people seem to like them so uh, there'll be more coming up here in a few weeks oh boy. also check out our merch store there's always a link in the video description to our uh, Teespring store good way to support the channel if that's something you want to do and get something cool in return I've had uh, several people ask me for other ways to support the channel I'll probably set something up uh, for that also again like subscribe and share that's all bye from me hey come here guys bye from mr. Kurgan and uh, my homie mr. Lobo see ya. Right there you see uh, Puko and Lobo after our hike. People often ask, why don't you take all the dogs out when you go down here? Well this is why. I, I drive a Jeep and this is all the space I have to carry dogs. I can only carry two to three large dogs at a time. So we do uh, two trips a day. That's all. Bye from uh, Puko, Lobo, and the Bye, beautiful guys. Tammy. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah!